The Gold Bat, 1904, by P.G. Wodehouse, is a novel centered around the lives of several students at the fictional public school of St. Austin's. The central plot revolves around the disappearance of a gold bat, a cherished school emblem, and the ensuing adventures and misadventures of the boys implicated in the incident. The story begins by highlighting the friendship between Trevor and Close, two prominent members of the school's rugby team. Trevor, the football captain, is a dedicated and respected leader, while Klaus is known for his nonchalant attitude and wit. Despite their differences, their strong bond is undeniable and crucial to the developments in the story. One day, after a victorious rugby match against the school's rival, St. Austin's receives a gold bat souvenir from a grateful old boy who appreciates the team's performance. However, to celebrate their success, Trevor, Klaus, and a few of their friends including Moriarty and O'Hara, decide to go for an illicit nighttime jaunt to the town of Beckford, where they have a run-in with a group of local roughs. During the scuffle, the precious gold bat goes missing. The blame for the loss falls on Trevor and Klaus, who face serious ramifications if they cannot retrieve it. Their predicament is made worse by the machinations of the school bully Barry, who loathes Trevor for his popularity and leadership. Barry, who is secretly envious of Trevor's position, sees this as an opportunity to undermine both Trevor and Klaus. In the meantime, the boys earnestly search for the bat. Their investigation leads them to uncover that a man named Abel, involved in the initial fray in Beckford, has the gold bat. However, obtaining it back proves to be a challenging task. They learn that Barry has been conspiring with Abel, using his knowledge about the night in Beckford, to manipulate Trevor and gain leverage over him. As the plot unfolds, Trevor and Klaus find themselves facing many challenges, including the threat of suspension or expulsion from school, which could damage their futures. Trevor, already shouldering the pressures of his responsibilities as captain, is particularly affected. The loss of the bat puts a strain on his reputation, and he struggles to maintain his leadership while dealing with the turmoil. Klaus, nevertheless, remains supportive of his friend. His sharp mind and resourcefulness become invaluable as they navigate the complications that arise from the missing bat. Together, along with the help of other trustworthy friends, they devise strategies to outmaneuver Barry and Abel and to recover the cherished emblem. The characters of Trevor and Klaus are further developed through side plots that delve into other aspects of school life, including studies, friendships, and rivalries. Their companions also play significant roles, with Moriarty and O'Hara providing comic relief and showcasing the camaraderie that characterizes life at St. Austin's. Other characters, such as Mr. Seymour, a master at the school, allow readers to see the boys' relationships with authority figures and how they navigate the demands of school life. Throughout their quest to reclaim the gold bat, Trevor and Klaus experience personal growth. Trevor's initial naivety is contrasted with Klaus's street-smart attitude and worldliness, but both boys learn from each other and from the situations they encounter. They realize the importance of integrity, teamwork, and standing up to bullies. Their shared experiences deepen their friendship and solidify their loyalty to each other and to their school. In the climax of the novel, the truth about the gold bat's whereabouts is revealed, and the boys devise a plan to secure its return. With clever maneuvering and a bit of luck, they manage to expose Barry and Abel's nefarious scheme and regain possession of the gold bat. The resolution sees Trevor and Klaus vindicated. They are celebrated for their courage and for upholding the school's honor. The recovery of the bat not only solidifies Trevor's position as a respected captain, but also reinforces Klaus's reputation as a loyal friend and shrewd problem solver. In the end, justice is served and the school community learns valuable lessons about trust, honor, and the strength of fellowship. The gold bat is returned to its rightful place, serving as a symbol of the school's resilience and spirit, and the boys' adventures cement their legacy at St. Austin's. The gold bat weaves a tale of youthful adventure, loyalty, and the consequential responsibilities of leadership, showcasing Wodehouse's early storytelling talents that would later become the hallmark of his more mature works. As a classically styled school story, it is both entertaining and a reflection of the values of the time. 
illustrating the camaraderie and challenges of school life in early 20th century England.